Well, hello again for USCFSales.com. I'm Steve Lopez with another Chess Base 11 video tip for you. In our series so far, we've been considering various searches that you can do in Chess Base 11. After all, that's what the software is for. You have a huge database of games, and you want to find just the information that you want that's going to help you in your studies, whether it's studying openings, end games, you're looking for the games of a particular player, games of a particular tournament or a year, whatever it happens to be. And a lot of the searches are pretty simple. Header searches, player names, tournaments, years, ECO codes, those are easy to do. Position searches aren't too hateful, but there are a couple searches that really baffle some people in Chess Base 11, and those features are sadly underutilized, unfortunately, and they're some of the most powerful features in the software, too. Uh, they're underutilized because some people don't understand them very well. So that's why I'm doing videos to show you how these things are accomplished in Chess Base 11. We're going to look at maneuver searches, and it's going to take several videos to go through the different aspects of doing a maneuver search in Chess Base 11. We'll start with some easy stuff and work our way up and work in some more concepts as we go. But we've got to start somewhere, so we'll start with a very simple search today. All a maneuver is, is a piece moving from one square to another square. P starts on square A, winds up on square B. You can also chain these together so you can do maneuver sequences. White plays this, followed by black playing this followed by white playing this, followed by black playing this. And we'll get to those, but we'll start with something very simple. To start a search, you right-click on the database you want to search. I'm using a small database of games from the 1800s, just so the searches don't take forever on a video. We'll, uh, we'll click on Search, and we'll go to the Maneuver tab. Some people uh, call this part of the software, they, they, they uh, kind of draw an analogy between this and a mathematical formula. I don't like that very much because I'm a writer. I like to think in terms of words. What we're going to do here is write a sentence. We're going to write a, a, a sentence which instructs the software as to what we want to look for. It's very simple, but it's like constructing a sentence. The first thing you need to do is tell Chess Base 11 whether you want it to be a white piece or a black piece that's moving. Well, instead of having to type anything into this box right here, we have radio buttons and pull-down menus that we can use to give the instructions to the software. So first we start with whether it's a white piece or black piece. Now I want to do a very simple search where a bishop on f1 goes to c4. And we're going to do a search in the opening where the bishop does this in the opening of the game. And I don't care about the particular opening. It could be a Gioco Piano. It could be some other opening where the bishop makes that particular move. But that's what I'm looking for is openings in which the bishop moves from F1 to C4. So first we start by clicking on the radio button next to W for white. And what we see is W, followed by a series of question marks, has appeared in this box, which tells, it's basically where we're writing our little instructions to the software, what we're looking for. White, we need to tell it a white what? Well, this is what where this pull down comes in right here. Click on that arrow, and you get a pull down menu of all the different pieces in the game. We want a white bishop, so we'll go down to B and click on B for bishop. Now it says white bishop, followed by four question marks. These four question marks, it wants to know what square to what square. That's what these two white boxes are for. We actually type in the algebraic coordinates of the starting and ending square. So we want F1, and then we want C4. And now you'll see up here, white bishop on F1 goes to C4. That's it. That's all there is to it. Just select white or black, the piece in this pull down, and the starting and ending square. That's your basic maneuver search right there in a nutshell. The other thing is we're looking for this happening in the opening. So what we do is we come down to moves, and we want it between, let's say, moves 2 and move 8. That narrows our search a great deal. We don't get middle game and end game maneuvers. Just stuff in those first few moves of the game where the bishop from its starting square of F1 goes to C4. Let's click OK and see what we get. And very quickly the software has done the search. If you look down here in the lower left hand corner, done search, 3,993 games have been found. Not surprising this is a database after all of games from the 1800s in which the E4 openings were very popular and the bishop naturally would come off of uh, F1 and go to C4 or B5. So we'll take a look, at, we'll just click on a game and sure enough there's a bishop on C4. If we step back a move by using the uh, VCR buttons we can find that, that indeed it went from F1 to C4. 
click on another game, same thing happens. We see the bishop goes from f1 to c4. We can click on any number of games and we'll find that this maneuver is always the case, f1 to c4. It's very simple. That's all there is to it. We'll go back over it very quickly one more time. Right click, go to search, go to the maneuver tab, click on the radio button whether you want it to be a white or black piece, pick the piece that you want from the, full, from the pull down, and then type in the algebraic coordinates in these two boxes. And very important, and we'll talk about this in the next video, but putting in a move sequence from move 2 to move 8 is also very important because that allows you to narrow down the material that the program turns up. You may just want things that happen in the opening. So you want to put low numbers here. If you were looking for moves in an end game, you'd put higher values from move, say, 20 to move 35 or move 30 to 50, depending on what you're looking for. But that's the bare bones basics of doing a maneuver search. You're just writing a little sentence that tells the software, tells Chessbase 11, what to find in that database. In our next video, we'll show another little tweak with the moves values here. Until then, for USCFSales.com, I'm Steve Lopez. Thanks for watching.